Hey guys, and welcome back to Renee G TV. You guessed it, today we're doing a cake. We're doing a chocolate fondant cow cake. Um, and right now I'm just, basically, I'm doing a crumb coat for my cake. This is a marble cake. Uh, definitely go to my channel if you want the recipe. There is a video, and you can follow along with that, or you can write down the directions. Um, but all I'm doing is taking some white buttercream and I am just spreading it over the top of my cake. I do show how to do this in depth, step by step. As far as a crumb coat goes, that is also on my channel, so go and check that out. But I'm just doing a thin layer of buttercream to seal in the crumbs. And I don't have my turntable handy right this second. I'm kind of lazy on pulling it out, so. I struggle a bit. But anyway, we're going to go right around the side. That's my puppy dog. Having an allergy attack. Anyway, you're just going to go right around the side. And you are going to remove icing as you go. And like I said, we're just looking for a thin coat to seal in all of those crumbs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and then I'll bring you back. Uh, buttercream. So we are going to be back. Hey guys, my crumb coat is done, and um, this is a large cake. I'm not even sure how many inches it is, but it's large. Um, anyway, so my crumb coat is done. I'm going to let it set, and then we're going to add some neon green uh, buttercream. So we're going to be back. Hey guys, so here is our lime green cake. That is the final coat of icing. Um, it looks a bit rough, but that's okay. We're going to let it set up and... We're going to smooth that out a bit, and then we'll be back, and we'll start the fondant decorations. We'll be back. I'm going to do this while the icing is still a bit tacky, and before your fondant completely hardens, um, because you want it to mold around the side of the cake, of course. <clears throat> I just think the mortar help, helps uh, tighten it up a bit. Place that in. If some icing underneath squeezes out, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And we have our last piece. Hopefully, that will be just long enough to work. Um, <clears throat> I've made some chocolate fondant. If you want that recipe, go to my channel. I do show how to make that from scratch. It's very easy to do, and it tastes a lot better than the white marshmallow fondant. Um, it's very nice and rich and chocolatey. So definitely go give that a try and get that ready, and then we're going to cut out our piggies and some flowers, and we're going to continue to decorate. We'll be back. Okay guys, so there are my little piggies. I did two different kinds, and they're just little silhouettes, some little flowers in between, a little piglet and a piggy, and I just did that all the way around the bottom of the cake, around the side of the cake. There we go, all the way, and all the way back to the other side. So um, we're going to let it sit up a bit, we're going to place some flowers on top, and then we're going to um, finish decorating, so we'll be back. Hey guys, there is our finished birthday cake for Brie. Um, we just added some fondant flowers to the top. And we have our side with our piggies and our flowers and more piggies and of course more flowers. very simple and easy to do. You can find the recipe for the cake, for the chocolate fondant, um, and also the buttercream on my channel. So go check those out. Don't forget to thumbs up uh, Brie for her birthday. Appreciate all the great support. Don't forget to share me with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social sites. Uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.